What up, y'all? Sean William. So, there's some things that I want to change within myself, and one of those things is, I don't want to say the N-word anymore. You know what the N-word is, nigga. I'm trying to stop. I don't use the word for, like, a, a term of affection or endearment. I don't try to salute other individuals, like, what up, my nigga? Nigga isn't something where I'm breaking it down in an acronym, like some hoteps. Never ignorant, getting the goals accomplished. But when I see things that are just niggerish, I gotta use the word. Example. Like what? Give me what? The stolen. My wallet. What I was had in to, your wallet? It was 50 bucks. Okay. I had to replace all my IDs. I had gift cards in there, my earpiece, and the calculator. Uh, there was no earpiece in there, ma'am. Nigga! Do you like teenage girls? When you say teenage, how are we talking? Nigga! Joining us right now is someone who was actually in the room, uh, and that is um, joining us via Skype from Richmond, Virginia, Dr. Steve Parson. Did you at least leave the meeting with a commitment of Trump saying, I'm going to put these issues on paper and present it to you, to take back to your congregations? Oh, no, no, he didn't specifically say it in those words, but basically he said it in spirit. Anorexia? No way. They've written it? No way. Bulimia? No way. That it's because of drugs? No. First of all, let's get one thing straight. Crack is cheap. I made too much money to ever smoke crack. Let's get that straight, okay? We don't do crack. We don't do that. Your crack is whack. Don't get it twisted. He gonna put that wall up. Build that wall, Donald J. Trump. Build that wall. So there you have it. I'm trying to stop using the word, but it's really hard because niggas won't let me stop using the word nigga. But I'm gonna be a better person. And I'm just not gonna say it anymore, no matter what happens. And then we need to get rid of channels like BET. This shouldn't be a Black History Month. You know, we're Americans, period, that's it.